Argentine Tango Lecture Series, La Cruzada. I'm going to start it with the lead's right foot, the follow's left foot, stepping outside partner. One, two, the leg swings, and three, the crossing action. Let's do that again. So back left for the follower, right side, and left foot crosses. Let's do a different angle. And outside partner, leg swing, and across. One more. Okay, we'll close it up some. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if the follower doesn't reach back with her right leg, the leader will run her down. Let's do a bad one. So we're going to be on two axes, fairly close though. So small step, take a small step here if you could. So here I'm running her down. This is a common problem when first learning. So the follower needs to receive the lead to travel and create some space. And then she can bring the left foot under comfortably. One more time with a short stride. Three steps, bad version, small step, and she gets run down and we don't know what happened. So if the leader can give her a little impulse through the knees and through the chest and allow her to reach out more, it feels so much better for the follower. So I've heard. So through the knees, give her some space, extend the arm if need be, and there she is. And we don't need to separate that much. I'll stay closer. Not quite carpe yet. I step past my lady so that I can extend the arm and give her space. So watching from the lead's point of view, I'm going to step past Betty a little bit to give her room. So here we go. I step past her and then give her room in the arms. 